welcome to Tar Heel Teachers Daily, a micro series to give you a slice of some of the latest happenings in education right here in North Carolina. I'm your host, Marlo Artis. You don't want to miss any of our great Tar Heel Teachers content, so please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here on our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of all of our latest happenings so that you'll stay in the loop and be informed and maybe sometimes entertained. <laughs> By subscribing to our YouTube channel, you have access to all of our Tar Heel Teachers content, including our video cast, Tar Heel Teachers at Home. This week, we had a really powerful episode of our program. We discussed 25 plus years of the landmark Leandro case, which addresses the state's constitutional responsibility to give every student, provide every student with a sound, basic education. And we're very fortunate for this episode. We had some heavy hitters who really understand the nuances of this case, including Dr. Bill Harrison, who was a superintendent of Hope County Schools at the onset of the Leandro case, which was one of the original plaintiffs. He moved on to Cumberland County, another plaintiff. So he knows the case very well and provides us with a lot of historical context that was very much appreciated. We were also very fortunate to have Rick Glazier to join us. He's a member of the Governor's Commission on Access to a Sound-Based Education. He's an overall education policy expert, served in the General Assembly for 13 years, and so he provided a great legal context and some of the various dynamics. And we were also happy to have Rob Leandro himself, the original student plaintiff, and the case's namesake. Um, he joined us for the conversation, so it was a wonderful episode, so please check it out. The link is in the description box. Our panel was fantastic, including Mariah Morris, the 2019 Bureau's Welcome Fund North Carolina Teacher of the Year. So you don't want to miss this episode of Tar Heel Teachers at Home. This Friday, July the 10th, we'll find out who will succeed Mariah as the 2020 Burroughs Welcome Fund North Carolina Teacher of the Year. It's an outstanding, strong cohort of nine finalists, regional teachers of the year. Each one very passionate about our profession, very giving in so many ways. And so if you want to hear more about their stories, please click on the link in the description box so that you can find out who they are. You won't be able to go to the reception this year. It's going to be much smaller than in the past. There will only be 25 people present. It's going to be outdoor, but you will have a chance to watch it, watch the live feed. And I myself will be watching with anticipation. I'm very excited um, for this group. They've been waiting patiently since April. Um, it was pushed back because of COVID restrictions. And so now is the time. And so we'll find out on Friday who our new 2020 Bureau's Welcome Fund North Carolina Teacher of the Year will be. The Teacher of the Year will receive support from so many different partners, including NCAT, Go Global North Carolina, Lenovo, and Flow, Flow Automotive LLC. Uh, they'll receive a car, so as they serve as ambassador across our state, they'll have a chance to zoom in style. They'll be zooming around in style. And so we're really excited for this announcement, so check it out. And the link is in the description box. Union County Public Schools recently announced a partnership with Promising Pages, a nonprofit in the Greater Charlotte area, to provide their elementary school students with books every Thursday starting tomorrow, July the 9th. So about 10 locations, 10 elementary school students can go, their families can get the books, and students can read and enjoy the great stories and get lost in the pages. I think Promising Pages is a wonderful organization. They have many partners, including Duke Energy. They have a Books on Break program where students can get books when school is not in session, and that's just wonderful as an ELA teacher. I wish there were more programs like this. I know that whenever COVID hit, there were many conversations about getting devices and getting instructional packets, and we didn't have as many conversations as I personally would have liked to have heard regarding getting books in the hands of our children. And so as we move forward, I hope that we can get more and more books in the hands of kids during times when they're not in school because the research is certainly there about reading. It's fundamental. And Union County Public Schools and Promising Pages, they're making it happen every Thursday through their partnership. We have reached the end of today's program and I want to leave you with this quote. The only way to survive is by taking care of one another. I need you and you need me and we have to extend grace, peace and love and understanding to one another if we're going to get through this. And I know that we're going to get through this.
Let's not forget that. We look forward to seeing you all tomorrow on Tar Heel Teachers Daily.